Look at this. Some knucklehead tuning on a CW frequency. There's a QRP soda station out in Washington State. There he is. Oh, come on, Jughead. N4 H and H with you. Um, brighten the camera up a little bit because, uh, well, this is impromptu. I was just sitting here. I just worked this station in Washington. Of course, I'm out here on the East Coast, so that's a nice contact. Come on, dude. <laughs> Tempted to hit the... Uh... There, I will. <laughs> Digital notch filter. There, it's gone now. Because that's not what I wanted you guys to see. Oh, I think I think he's run off the soda station. Oh, look at that signal. That might be the guy that was tuning. I don't want to accuse anybody. Well, what a bummer. What I wanted you to see was the difference between the 600 hertz filter and the 300 hertz filter without any help from DSP. I mean, other than digital noise reduction and APF. In other words, just seeing what the difference the filters make here on the 5000. But I don't guess I'm going to get to show you. Maybe a Maybe some other time in another video. That's a shame. He was doing great too. I had him 5.5, five, but you see the noise levels at 5.4? When I went to the 300 hertz roofing filter, it knocks the noise floor down a little bit because it's narrowing the band pass, how much signal, which includes noise, can go through the filter. So, uh, the 300 definitely helped, but even more important than that was what it did to block some of the interference I was getting up and down the band. I mean, look at the band tonight. So, uh, but of course, what I did was I added to that the shift, or sorry, the width, and I set it at 50. You know me. DNR 15, width 50, and APF. I usually leave APF at the zero, and then I will adjust. You see what I did there, 7.033 and .985. I usually adjust the big big knob to zero in on the, uh, on the signal until I get that. See, this guy's transmitting straight up at .985. See, the little green... Uh, LEDs are straddling the red line. What, look what happens if I move away. And that's our tuner upper again. You knock him out. So, that's what I was hoping you would get to see and hear is that, you know, the 300 hertz filter. You know, and I, was, I know I shot another re video uh, recently about that, but just to see the difference it makes uh, here on the even the on, on the FTDX 5000 MP, the MP comes with the 300 hertz filter. Now, all all that is, everything I'm showing you is also possible with radios like the FTDX 10, the FTDX 101D, or MP. But okay, I guess I won't get, get to show you that station since a tuner upper came in there and ran him off. And I'm looking over here on the spot page to see if he might repost. See, over here on the Soda Watch page, I'm looking to see if he'll repost, but he hasn't. So in the other station out west, I see I love the work those Oregon and Washington stations. stations. You see that K7IW there? That's W7O, that's Oregon. And uh, I would like to work him too, but he's on 146.52. I don't think we're gonna make a contact on 146.52 from the East Coast to Oregon. NN7M though is who I just worked. That's the guy in Washington State. See the W7W? Oh well, man, I hate that. 
If it comes back in, I'll add it to the video if I get another opportunity to show you that. For now, hey, thanks for watching and 73 from N4HNH.